Well, it's uh, been uh, 48 hours, two days since I in, since I put the uh, dental stone tool in the oven to warm it up, to heat it up, to dry it, to cure it, and also to allow the uh, pitch and uh, turpentine mixture to set in. So now that it's been about two days, which is the recommended amount of time, I'm going to turn off the oven, open it up. This oven, which generally speaking was set to, is set to go for about uh, four hours at the max, uh, has been stressed out and it's actually lasted uh, for substantially longer. It's been on for about uh, 48 hours now, which is about 12 times what's, uh, what's recommended for it or what it's, what it's designed for, and I'm real happy with it. As I say, I bought this at the Goodwill for probably about, I think it was about seven bucks, maybe eight bucks including tax at the Goodwill in Danbury, Connecticut. And uh, it has exceeded all of my needs. I'm very happy with the with its performance, and I know my wife has said that she's looking forward to being able to use it. Uh, Goodwill Industries is a, a, a social services provider. They take in uh, donations from the public of clothes and uh, appliances and records and the like, and all sorts of things that amateur telescope makers will find useful, and they resell them. So they have no cost of goods sold per se, their material costs are nothing. They generally uh, occupy old supermarkets, although in some instances they're in newer buildings. Uh, this particular Goodwill, which is in Danbury, Connecticut, uh, has a really nice selection of an awful lot of things. Used clothes, I don't really wear used clothes, but many people do. Uh, and also appliances. A lot of things from the 70s right now seem to be pretty hot. And as I say, I bought this oven really inexpensively at the Goodwill. It was marked for $15. I bought it a Sunday evening. It was half off. How far wrong can you go? Well, you can go about eight bucks wrong. Well, for the purposes I had, I've more than made my money back on it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in. This is kept to 200 degrees. I'm going to remove the tool place it on the board and I'm going to let it cool off now because this tool is has been heating for two days it's just really really hot through and through completely cured and in fact at this point even though I am Catholic I'm going to pronounce this cured, brother. Uh, oh, and as being Catholic, I have a candle that I try to keep lit for my son Jimmy, who's right now serving in Baghdad, actually in Camp Rustamaya, I understand, which is uh, somewhat south of Baghdad, between the sewage treatment plant and the garbage dump on the banks, I believe, of the Tigris River. Uh, now I'm going to let this cure overnight. Tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably paint the body of the tool itself once the tool is thoroughly cooled. I'll probably paint it with a shellac or a varnish, I really haven't decided which yet, to seal the remainder of the dental stone tool. Not that it's really necessary, but it can't hurt. And then once I have that sealed and the sealant dries, uh, tomorrow's going to be Saturday, the uh, 12th of January 2008. Once I have that completely sealed, maybe on Sunday, I'll pour a pitch lap on top of the tool and I'll press it with my 7-inch mirror blank and from there I'll be ready, once it's set, I'll be ready to go forward and polish these, uh, these three blanks, double-sided blanks and I'm looking, you know, I generally go polishing 10 to 15 hours per blank so I'm looking somewhere around 90 hours worth of polishing time. This tool and I are going to become really well acquainted and so it's worth it just to make sure that it's right, to make sure that everything is sealed the way it is, to make sure it lasts. Not that I can't make another one, I certainly can. But for right now, it is Friday night, January 11th, 2008. It is uh, 8.06 in the evening, Eastern Standard Time. From Brewster, New York, I'm Francis O'Reilly. I'll be back with you tomorrow.